Today we're going to solder up a 18650 stick pack. In order to do so, you're going to need these items that are listed below. Start by preheating your soldering iron to 850 degrees Fahrenheit or 455 degrees Celsius. Now's the time to mention you should be using a wide tip, 3 16th of an inch or 5 millimeters. Use sandpaper to rough up all the ends of the cells you'll be soldering. Clean the ends of the cells. Apply flux. Thoroughly tin the tip of your soldering iron. Generously apply solder to the ends of each cell. Don't linger more than a second or two or you may damage the cell. Cut 1 inch tabbing strips or 25 millimeters. I like to use a right angle to help me align my cells. Here I'm taking a piece of masking tape and placing it upside down. I'm going to be aligning my cells on top of the masking tape and then using the masking tape to hold the cells together. Make sure you align your cells positive to negative. Secure the cells. I use a small vise. Place the tabbing on top of the first two cells. Make sure it's going positive to negative. Thoroughly tin your soldering iron tip. Use a popsicle stick or something similar to hold the tab in place while you solder. Ensure the solder flows, creating great contact between the tab and the cell. Again, don't linger too long or you may damage the cell. Flip the cells over. Be careful to place the tabbing in the correct location. Remember, we want a battery in series. Again, thoroughly tin your soldering iron. Solder the tabbing to the cells using the method I previously showed you. Remove the tape from the cells and carefully unfold the pack to the final configuration you're looking for. Make any adjustments necessary to make sure you've got a straight stick pack. Cut your wires to length. Strip the ends of your wires. Pre-tin the ends of the wires that you'll be soldering to the batteries. Solder the red wire to the positive end of your battery. Solder the black wire to the negative end of your battery. How you choose to finish your pack is totally up to you. Personally, I like to secure the cells with either a captain or a strapping tape and then secure everything with a piece of shrink tubing. Packs in this configuration can be used for all sorts of things. Airsoft, RC gliders, you name it. I'm really excited to hear what you're going to use your pack for. Let me know in the comments. And hey, thanks for watching.